Hello, everybody. Shaquita Graham here, founder of atecoweb.com. And then I have my wonderful friend, Noma Langa Mashali Moses here from the successfulblackwoman.com. Successfulblackwoman.com. Thank you for being here, Noma. And we have a, a topic. It, it's, it can be controversial, but it really shouldn't be. Um, I just want to throw this disclaimer out there for my tortured souls, those trolls that we always have in our comments. We are not, we are going to talk about Gavin Long, who was the assassin in uh, New Orleans, the cop assassin. We are not going to address or comment on whether or not the shooting was right or wrong or all that. That is not our topic. We are not trying to glorify, you know, anything here. Um, related to violence or any of that. So please miss me with that. We're not trying to glorify or demean. We just have no comment on it. Exactly. And just for those who are going to just belabor the point, let me just tell you, if you want to take up a cause um, to talk about what people shouldn't should and shouldn't be saying, make sure you take up the cause of this woman right here, Laura Ingram who apparently created, uh, did a Nazi salute at the RNC convention, take up the cause of the statue of Cecil Rhodes, who was a heinous killer of millions of people that has a statue at Oxford. So if you can have these people represent these radio hosts and these murderers have statues, then we can talk about and, and uh, just examine the thoughts of someone like Gavin Long. So let me just share this video about him. These are some comments that he made about black women and he has a lot of videos out there, but I thought that this was interesting to bring to light. But I'm gonna start halfway through where I start pertaining directly to the woman, okay? And it says, I must give a separate special thanks to the all powerful, most beautiful one and only black woman. For you will always have a precious place in my heart. My love for you is deep like the depths of the sea and endless like the heavens above. In a million years, in a million new worlds, my love for you cannot be quenched. My love of black women is partially due, for, is partially due to what they have done for me in my life, but more about what they do for the family and what they are doing in the world at large. Forgive me. If I've hurt you in any way, yes, black woman, you are majestic. I love you, and I vow to never allow my mind or mouth to become weapons that destroy, separate, and ultimately break the bonds of the endless love that we share. My love for you is undeniable. It's unwavering and everlasting. Together, united as one, my elegant and intelligent black woman, we are strong and invincible. With all my love for you. All right. So we have Gavin Long there on, uh, he has some videos called Convos with Cosmos. And, and he's, he's reading a, um, his a foreword from his book. What are your thoughts, Noma? Um, you know, the first thing that I wanted to bring up was it was so interesting because we, you and I specifically, when we do our segments, we lean towards the, si the side of really loving black men mm -hmm. um, in spite of, you know, everything else that goes on or even if people have stories that contradict what we're saying, we're firm in what we want to do and what our voice stands for. And I'm just mindful of the fact that um, that voice is very important and it's very necessary. However, there are people who don't necessarily agree with us. And I find that, you, you know, if I look through my social media, especially Facebook, and sometimes I take a glance at the comments after we've done our videos, there's always, always a comment about women saying, okay, yeah, black women are supposed to be there for the black men. They're supposed to have their back. But what about us? They never have our back. Yeah. So it really made me smile. Um, you know, and we've listened to that clip more than once, and I will probably listen to it again. Um, it really made me smile to hear him say words that, this was the first time I was hearing it, but it really made me smile to hear words that really speak to how a black man um, who's reached 
the full maturity of understanding who he is and who the black woman is really express it so eloquently, so poetically, um, so beautifully. Um, and that really answers those questions about what about us? How come they never have our back? That answers it way better than I could ever, ever answer. So I just wanted to bring that up first. Yeah, um, you know, the thing that it makes me think about is in this climate of white supremacy where you can't even get um, people that are a part of the legal structure or the legal system to even admit that there is a problem with black men, I mean, um, police officers killing black men. They don't even admit that this is a racial injustice, human rights issue. Um, and this causes so much trauma in the black community. It's like hard to focus on your goals and moving forward when you're thinking about your family members all day. And then you look at this man right here who seems like uh, he was intelligent. He seems like he could have been a loving husband and a loving father. What if he wasn't in this, this, this cesspool of racial hatred that he found himself in in America? What could he have done besides these kinds of acts? What could he have accomplished in his life? And that goes for the many black men who have been shot down. That goes for the many black people who are just walking around in shock and um, not knowing even what to do next because they kind of fear for their lives on a daily basis. That's what I think about when I listen to this young man who felt that he needed to go out here to protect his community, to, you know, in essence, protect black women by going out here and retaliating against the police who nobody seems to be protecting us from, you know, and, and that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Absolutely. Um, I want to just say one specific thing that really stood out to me. Um, he said that, um, and I'm, you know, paraphrasing. He says that I vow to never use my mind or my mouth as a weapon to destroy, separate, or break the bonds of our love. And by our love, it means the love of a black man for a black woman. And again, uh, I know I'm kind of repeating myself, um, I'm just reminded of the fact that this is something that you and I constantly say. Um, and the thing is, he's not saying that every black woman that he's ever known has been perfect mm -hmm. because that's not reasonable. Mm -hmm. But he's saying, I'm choosing to use my mind and choosing to use my words in a positive and uplifting way. I'm aware of our current situation and our circumstances. And again, I've said this time and time again, the oldest trick in the book to take anybody down is divide and conquer. So his thing is, no, I will not use my mind and I'll not use my words um, for that process of dividing and conquering. Instead, I'm going to do the exact opposite and I'm going to not use them. I'm going to use my words to do the opposite of that, which is uh, build and love, uh, glorify. I mean, he said, he said words like majestic. Uh, mm -hmm. talking about a black woman and that shows that he is not faking and he really understands and truly sees the beauty of a black woman um, and not just a specific black woman the essence of a black woman he un to me that tells me that he understands what he's talking about and he's not being um i know the the people who are kind of like oh he you know he's dropping game or whatever this whatever this is but i don't see it that way i see that he has a deep understanding of the essence of a black woman and he has put it into words better than i've ever heard anybody do and i think that you know it's it's so important for us to bring this to light because the media and the propaganda would cause us to believe that there's not a majority of black men that feel this way and i i beg to differ and again the stats do show that most black men are married to black women right and i believe there are many black men who feel this way and as black women we shouldn't fall for this whole idea where black men don't have our back we don't need to have their back that's not true um one thing that he said is that we together we are invincible and i think that you know i wish he would have been able to play this out in his life um as opposed to feeling it 
feeling it necessary to go out here and do the things that he did. I, I wish that, you know, because the bottom line is black people, the majority of us just want to live in peace. We're not bringing a fight to anybody. People are bringing a fight to us. And when my mother, when I was growing up, she said, listen, don't start a fight. But if somebody brings a fight to you, you know, she had she had directions for, for that scenario. And unfortunately, although we want to live in peace with one another, and even throughout our history, when we've gone to other countries, we've tried to live in peace with those people. When we traveled the world, we didn't just discover people's land and exterminate people. We endeavor to bring civilization and light to people um, when we traveled the world before any of this nonsense started five and 600 years ago. And so um, unfortunately, we have, we're put in a dilemma where all of that is um, in question and being torn apart. But like he said, if we can remain together, um, the black man and the black woman and the black family, we are invincible. And um, I, I just love how he brought that to light. And he also said that it's not just, um, it's what the black woman has done for, for him and for the community or for the family and how we've just served and helped throughout the years. And it's not just the black woman, because I'm not just uplifting the black woman here. I mean, the black man has done as much and more. And I think that's what, what this brings to light. Absolutely. Um, you know, anytime we hear somebody jump on that narrative that is demeaning um, and looking at black men or women as threatening, angry, all those things. What we have to understand is they're going right along with the tidal wave or the social engineering of taking who we are and reshaping it so that when something horrible happens to us or is happening to us, uh, people feel justified in looking the other way. And that's not okay. To me, that has never been okay. Um, but it became much more apparent to me that it is absolutely not okay now that I have kids. Because then it's, it's like, that's a natural thing to want to protect your children, to want, to, uh, to want your family to be safe. And um, there's no way that I will, like I've said before, and I'll keep saying it every opportunity I have, just like he said it, my mind, my thoughts, my words, none of it will be used as a way to divide uh, our community. It will it will, it's just not gonna happen. I'm aware and I'm awake and I'm watching and he was too. Regardless of whether we agree or don't agree with what he did, the actions that were birthed from his thought process, I am absolutely in agreement with what he said when he said he would not use his mind and his words as a weapon. And this is actually a call to action for everybody who, who says that they love black men and black women and are really invested in the betterment of the black community, take the same vow. I will not use, I will not let my mouth, I will not let my thoughts, I will not let my words, my actions, nothing, none of it. And the more of us that are out there, um, the more that we can have an impact. It doesn't have to necessarily be the same old, same old. Um, I mean, in fact, let me not even go there. I, I don't care if people want to march or don't want to march or whatever they're doing. I'm just saying this is one more way that you can have an impact uh, that is positive and that will further our betterment. That's what I'll, that's what I'll commit to saying. And, you know, I think this, it was important to bring this to light because, you know, everything that's going on, it's like hearing his comments were refreshing. Then I think about his death and the death of everybody who was involved. And it saddens me because I think about the, the potential of all the people who are involved, whether it's just, just the, the black community as a collective, America as a collective, what could we be without all of this, this hatred and all of this um, violence? You know, I mean, there's just blood in the streets and it looks like it's not going to end. But then you look at this man here who many people will just, peg as um you know they'll just look at one side of the story but this was a you know this person he obviously articulated some important things he had um some some positive things to say and it's unfortunate that 
because he's like a casualty of war. I mean, there's many casualties of war that are going to um, be taken in this scenario because the system of white supremacy refuses to stand down and people who claim that they are against it um, refuse to denounce it and take action against it. So, I mean, there's a lot more that could be said about this, but um, I just want to thank everybody for viewing and thank you, Noma, for um, being on this segment with me. Do you have any last words you want to wrap up with? Um, I actually wanted to just say the last thing that he said. Um, mm -hmm. He said to the Black woman in general, he said, my love for you is undeniable, unwavering, and everlasting. And I also want to just turn that around and as a black woman say it to the black man that yes. my love for you is undeniable, unwavering, and everlasting. It is. And I, that's a worthy comment because I'm going to tell you something. The black man, words can't describe. I mean, I'm like him. I mean, when you really look at the true essence of the black man, just stop it. So, so let me just drop the mic on that. And, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up again. Thank you guys for viewing. Thank you, Noma. Thank and, you. Uh, do register at marywomensbusiness.com for uh, the new site that we're launching where we'll go in depth in a lot of, into a lot of these issues. Goodbye for now.